I always use my mouth as a dump bucket, but this is I think so do I. Rich, you want to pass me the first plate of meat there? All right, I'm gonna put you in charge, Grillmaster. Ooh, Let's what start are with doing the fat. Here, Adrian? Start with the fat. Don't call me fat. <laughs> <laughs> Big boned. Yeah. Get that all sucker sure. all greased up, ready for us. Make sure you don't overcook it. <laughs> no pressure. This is fermented kimchi. Yes. Try it with the Chardonnay. Yeah, I tried it really? and it had a really good finish. That's really good, Adrian. Yeah. Good call. Unexpected pairing. Let's call it that. You know why you like this? I know this guy so well. He's grown up with heat, hot, spice. Always like And then so this kimchi is, is the flavor is amazing, the texture is amazing. It's, but then when you have this Chardonnay, it kind of enhances it gets spicier. the heat a little bit. It does, yes, and I think that's what he But it doesn't, it doesn't, it like, doesn't it doesn't overpower it. Doesn't it doesn't overpower it. No. But I it just think turns, it, that, like, it turns the volume up. And the yeah. Chardonnay still, like, has that, like, those citrus flavors yep, and everything. Yeah. You can still taste it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then after you're done with the Chardonnay, the kimchi's still there. Yeah. It doesn't squash yeah. the Chardonnay. No, yeah. no, no, no. It no, doesn't. No. In fact, it gets more Chardonnay like. Right. Like, it gets really lemony. Mm -hmm. You notice exactly. that? Exactly. Yeah. Almost turns into, like, a Korean Michelada. <laughs> These are ready. If you okay, want so this like, is so far the off the wall best pairing so far, yes, in my opinion. Yes. Yeah. What sauce should I try if I'm going to try with the Chardonnay? What would kind of? What do you think? With the Chardonnay, the bean sauce here. Okay. Beans really? Good. Okay. Yeah. I tried it with the chili paste, and it was really good. Mm. Like don't love. Give it a go with the chili paste. You can also do like a little dip dip because mm -hmm. it's like a little salt. That's a completely different that's, experience. That's one thing that we just learned that specifically red stitch Chardonnay yep. will go, will, we know will go well with the, oh the cream God. corn and the chip. Right. It also transitions into kimchi and beef with a little bit of paste and salt. And yeah. Should you dump that on me, please? Absolutely. And this is a dump bucket right there. Yeah. So for those at home that don't know, we still love wine, <laughs> but when you're trying to be somewhat responsible, yes. it's okay to dump wine and then move on to the yeah. next wine. Exactly. Because okay. we want to try so many things, you otherwise we get wasted. Things, that's right. There's a so we're, we're waiting on this. It's a different this, cut, so that this, uh, leaves us a ribeye that we've got. We're now. waiting on this stew, right? The spicy stew. Yeah, the, the kimchi stew is going to be coming Wait, next. This now, is this is here? Chris's. So Chris's this is expectation right here for this. This is stew. my really. This is my ace in the hole. Okay. I think all the other wines that are not red stitch we picked up at Trader Joe's. We wanted I love that. you guys How to be able to try these wines. I love that. And have, Anybody have can access grab to these wines. Yeah, yeah. anyone can grab you, these. You said this is a $15 bottle here? It's probably less than that. So, Lambrusco, this comes from Emilia Romana. Is that, what is that? Northern, Northern Italy. Italy? Yeah, and it'll have a little bit of sweetness to it. It'll have a little bit, you see a couple bubbles? Only a eight little nine. bit of spritz. A little bit of spritz, only yeah. eight And alcohol. you serve it chilled. You see how it's, yep. it's, so it's, it's You chill it to like a white wine. Get this beef before he overcooks it over here. Go right to chili paste. A little visit to Salt Town. But there's no, just no, no. enough sweetness in there to counterbalance the spice of the chili paste. Chris, so far, I'm not loving it. You're not loving it? Pink. See, and I love it. Yeah, I do too. I love it. I wouldn't say it enhances, I would say it more mirrors. Me it meets it. It meets it. All right. I'm still waiting on that spicy, stu spicy soup. I think they've got it ready. Yeah, it's ready. All right. All right, here we go. Chili paste stew. That's Chili paste. Stew. Yeah. This is the one that I was really thinking when so I- So this one's going to be spicy, really? right? Yeah. yeah. What can we pair with this? Yeah, this, this was, was my one, challenge for Chris. I've, I've, I've had challenges trying to pair with this. My best pairing with this with is champagne. cold beer or a champagne. Cold beer, I mean, it's like, but cold but beer. But we're going to try some of these reds. Of I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to try this up raw here. I just had a spoonful of the, the beef, you know, the stew and everything, and then I had that. And I got to give it to you, Chris. Yeah, it worked. You know what I think it is, Adrian? I think it's a spritz. That's why I said, Champagne. It's so it's good with kimchi. I haven't had a stew yet, but that kimchi and this. You know what? Have some of the potato with the stew. Okay. Just the potato or the potato? Just and the, the beef? potato. And Just the potato and, then, yeah. and like some jus. Yep, and then try the wine. Okay. That was better than the meat. Something about the potato, like coating your palate, right? It kind of yeah, like breaks absolutely. up, coats your palate, it does, and then it, it, it takes away the sweetness from the wine. What's that other red? Is that, a, what's that? Is it Snoop? Is that yeah, red? this is Snoop. <laughs> okay, we got so Snoop. can we try that wine? I want to just yes. do this side by side yes. because so we okay. can get the experience. Yeah, let's see if we can get another set of glasses. The spritz, as it sits on your tongue when you have spice, it just like what beer does, it just mutes it just a yeah. little bit and it doesn't take away from the, 
the, the dish. Absolutely agree. And so I want to see what this wine, which doesn't have the spritz, I assume. So we got, we got 19 Dog. Crimes, Cali Red, Snoop Dogg on the cover. It says Cali Red. Uh, so it's, it's a blend. It's a blend. Yeah, maybe we could vineyards, see if we could figure out the blend. Okay. okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice, nice toss. Yeah. I get a lot of Zinfandel, some Syrah. All right. Snoop's What's trying it? to go after the prisoner. It's a, it was an yeah. extremely successful venture, so. When I tried this wine. With the spicy stew? With the spicy stew, it just, it blew it over the top and it just make it, made it too hot. I couldn't appreciate the stew. No. Or the wine. I, I, just can't, fight. I can't do it. So it doesn't work. I want to try this broccoli and feta with this Snoop wine. Thinking this might yeah, the radishes feta. might actually be good with it. This we haven't got into. This is like a I just, egg noodle. I'm just not feeling this. Let's wait. Dump this one. Can you pour me some red sticks, please? The, the cap. Yeah. You know no, what? Don't, it to, doesn't to work with this. It, it doesn't shouldn't have to muscle that. through anything. This okay. is going to be interesting. Now I always use my mouth as a dump bucket, but this is. I think so do I. I'm trying to warn <laughs> camera. Trying to be. Let me give you a little bit so you can wash yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah. No, this is like a step up in class. What, what vintage is this, Adrian? Oh, uh, you're gonna love it. Probably also has some age. 2012. Oh yeah. my god. Oh. This is Cabernet, and we don't know what the other wine was, but this is really good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The Cabernet works with it the stew. It does work with the stew. Yeah. Does it? Yes. I, I want your expert. We're not going to sway. We're not going to leave the witness, but. What is you it? You know what? Why is because it's, old, it's older. It's shed some oh of those baby gosh. tannins, and it's yeah. more approachable. I could this also is... just sit and drink this. Of course. Of course. I mean, <laughs> come on. It's so good. And this is a man that's drank tens of thousands of wine. So thank you. I am, this I am pleasantly surprised. This might take as far as what I didn't expect because I right? thought red wine, spice, let alone Cabernet. Exactly. That's, that's the thing that for me is something that I want to break. I want to break people saying, oh, it's spicy. You can't have it with red. this. Right. That's right. You know? That's right. So you know what we're going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to give away one of my... Red Stitch Cabernets. 12? 2012. Ooh. You know, okay. We'll do a giveaway. There you go. Love so, that. signed by both of you. Stay Done. tuned. Done. Yeah. You know, so you can try and you can see what we're talking about. Wow. Here, right? Yeah. So, now I'm going to go with uh, the theme of the Red Stitch is holding up to the spice. So, I'm going to try that that spicy paste. Oh, okay. And yeah. let's just see. Let's do that. Let's just see let's where do, that's see at. Let's see if it does it again. Yeah, I like see. that. Works, but doesn't work as well. Doesn't work as well, doesn't work as well for me. Yeah, it dies out a little bit. But this is why it's we It's like do they this. cancel each other. But this they is do. why we do they this. They do. This is fun. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Another episode of Paris Perfect, Parks Barbecue. Dave Roberts here. Talked about some great food, some great pairings. We found out that Red Stitch goes amazing with spicy stew, chili paste stew. Thank you. Yeah, this Who would have known? Who would have known? Yeah, an amazing uh, afternoon. Thank you again for joining us. Absolutely. Please make sure to like and subscribe below, and we'll see you again next time. Bye, guys. Ciao.